is a quick guide on how to balance the carburetors on a 1988 Goldwing, but this does apply to pretty much every GL1500 series uh, Goldwing, so from the 88 to the 2000. Um, the way it's currently set up is I have two gauges. Both are actually from Harbor Freights. I think they're under $15 per gauge. So I've got one here, one here. And each gauge does come with uh, with some vacuum hose, which currently I have plumbed this way. It comes down into a T-connector, which actually does come with the uh, uh, gauge. And then the T-connector goes into the manifold, which on the 88 has a uh, plug already on there, that, uh, which my understanding is on the newer models, you may have to get a fitting to be able to hook the, uh, the uh, back the gauge directly into this manifold. And then the second plug that normally goes into the manifold, I just plug onto the other end of the T-connector. And the same way, the right side is connected, the left side is connected as well. So I have my gauge, comes down into a T-connector, and the T-connector goes to the manifold again on the 88 there's a connector on both ends and then the part that the vacuum hose at the moment goes into the manifold I have to plug into the other end of the key so um, and the way to synchronize these again this is pretty much for every GL I think it's for every uh, Goldwing 1500 is you as you're idling it needs to be warm you're the left side is your main carb so what you want to do is you want the left carb and the right carb to read exactly the same thing so it is the needle is jumping a little bit which is okay um, and the way it works is the left carb is not adjustable the only thing that adjusts the left carb is if you adjust the idle okay which right now we're running about correctly about 850 to 900 uh, RPM so that's so we're in good shape on that so what we want to do is we want to take this left side reading okay sovereign between the red and the green and match it up to the right side and the right side is the side that you can adjust with the screw okay with the gold wing warmed up at running temperature the way you make this adjustment is if you, if you take the left side off, obviously you have to take off the Tupperware. There's a little rubber cap here, which I'm finding out that you really don't have to take off because the adjustment screw is right up here. Uh, and you can't really see it on the camera. But if you shine a flashlight up there, you'll be able to see it pretty easily. And the way you have to make this adjustment is you take your long neck screwdriver, which I have one here, okay? It's a flathead. And you basically take the screwdriver, and again, with a flashlight, you can see where this is at. You go here, really simple, not a big deal. You adjust the left or adjust the right. And then you let it run for a moment. You can throttle it a little bit. Obviously, as you make the adjustments, make sure your idle is properly set. And if it's not, you want to make sure it stays at 750 to 850 RPMs. Actually, my, my bad, it's actually closer to 850 RPM. Just uh, make the adjustments with this idle screw. And uh, as you go, just to make sure you maintain that RPM. And um, you just go back and forth, make, and in the end, if your left gauge, which is not adjustable, matches the right gauge, you are synchronized and ready to go. That is it.